Okay, you guys, I added a few clips here just to show you guys how I did my twist out. But feel free to skip one to 1 minute and 23 seconds. That's when I start reviewing the product. But I started out here with semi-dry hair, well, 95% dry hair. And I really want to show you guys how much of the product I use for this twist out and what other products I use with it. Right here, I'm using some mixed chicks. It's just mixed with the water, some leave-in um, mixed chicks. And then also, I use that Redkins Anti-Snap Leave-In Conditioner. Because the melanin product on the back, it tells you, well, it advises that you use a leave-in with the product. So that's what I did. And I'm just twisting my hair up, just throwing some twists in. And um, I'm going to show you the end result of how, my, how many twists I put in. So as you guys see, we are talking about melanin for the second time. I decided to do a second review because I want to give it a really fair and honest review because I wanted to do it also with a wash and go and with a style. And so that's what I did this time around, a style. If you guys want to see my first review, uh, click the link above and you can watch that one. And for me, the wash and go did not turn out right. And everybody was saying it does better with a style. So I decided to try it with a twist out. I did not like it for a wash and go, but as far as a style, I love the product for a style. It is um, really nice and it has my, really nice and moisturizing and it has my hair feeling really soft, especially my ends where I have to pay, pay close attention because they are um, usually pretty dry and I think that it helped with the dryness on my ends. So that was all, that's a plus always, anytime that you can retain some kind of moisture. This is the first day twist out and I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, I usually like to wait a day or two after my twist out because I like to get a little bit more volume. It is pretty defined and my hair is really, really soft and I feel like it's moisturized pretty well. So as far as using this product for a style, I think it's awesome. I just feel like um, I wish you would have never said that it goes for a wash and go because I don't think that it can. I think that the product is a little too heavy. It just, I guess it depends on your hair type, but for my hair type, it's a little too heavy for me to use as a wash and go. And then also I could have been a little too heavy handed, but when I do my wash and goes, I love to be heavy handed on my products. It always turn out for a better definition and better look for me. And like I said, my hair is pretty defined. And I also, when I did my twist, when I did this twist out, I think I was a little too heavy on the product as well because I did use two other products along with this product. And which it says to use, it says to use a leave-in and I use my Redkins Anti-Snap Leave-In Conditioner. And also I sprayed my hair with a um, mixture of water and leave-in of mixed chicks. Uh, but with the flatness, I think that it'll be okay because as the days pass, it'll be better. Um, so that's not a big issue for me. As far as everything else, I just think that the product is pretty good. I think that it'll help to retain your moisture. Another thing that I did, I did try to use this product on my daughter's hair. My daughter has, I would say, maybe 3B or 3A hair, and um, it works very, very well. A little goes a very long way on that hair type. Um, it, I didn't use it to do a style or a wash and go or anything like that, but I did use it to lay her hair down. Also, I used it on my other daughter's hair, and they have, I would say, um, maybe or B hair and it lays their hair down as well and it kept it really nice and moisturized so as far as using it on your kids hair I think it is a good moisturizing base and I think that is something that you could use every day and um, to lay their hair down and to add that extra moisture so that was nice and I used it on my hair when I pull my hair back into a ponytail so uh, it worked great for that so I think it has um, dual purposes as in style, but not for wash and go. One thing I can say about the product is I did not find any flaking. Sometimes when I use products to lay my hair down and pull it back in a ponytail, you uh, get this kind of residue or flakiness from products. And this product was pretty good. And I used it with a gel because I laid my edges down with a gel and the combination worked very well. I thought that was a plus as well. So you guys, this review is like really, really short because I did a part one to it on the wash and go. I just wanted to get back with you guys and give my opinion on how my twist out came out and is using the product for styling. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the short video and this is it. And I will see you guys in the next one.